Hi guys, welcome back to the workshop. In this video, we're going to be covering everything that we've done in relation to paint um, and protecting the chassis. So before we get on with that, um, if you can click the link below uh, to subscribe and also the little bell, so you get notifications of when our next video is coming out. Next job then, uh, at the rear end, while stuff's happening at the front, the back's um, just bare, so. Um, all we've really got to do at the back here is uh, whip the rear axle off and swap the springs and rebuild the, the axle itself. So what I'm going to do now while I've got a little bit of time is um, get some paint on this rear end of the chassis and then we can work our way forward while nothing's happening there, it just makes sense. Uh, I'll figure. So I've got this box of bits here um, from Buzzweld. Um, if you don't know who Buzzweld are, check out the link in the bottom uh, of this video uh, for their website, which is just buzzweld.com, I think. Uh, paint gurus, um, Craig, the guy that, that owns the company um, with his wife, serious paint gurus, they know what they're doing. Um, so I've had a few bits and bobs off of them for specifically for chassis stuff and, and car prep and, and stuff like that. Um, and the plan is, I'm going to put like a, uh, it's called rust encapsulator, which is that stuff, um, which I've chose to have uh, as a normal tin so I can brush it on. That's going to go on first, uh, and that's a, like a red primer type thing, um, and deals with the rust. And then I've got this, which is a black um, top coat that goes, that will go over the top of this, but you can just use this on its own. But I'm going to double it up, both brush ons. Um, so that'll be the chassis, and then inside the chassis, because <coughs> obviously I want to paint the inside as well, you can get this stuff, which is uh, a cavity paint, um, and it goes, you spray it in with, it, with these nozzles. So this is a, and if you can see, <coughs> it's a normal nozzle, but then it's got like a tube on it, you literally run it in the holes in the chassis and then buy this down and you get paint on the inside of the chassis as well. Um, and you can get chassis waxes and stuff like that and, and Buzzwell do all sorts of stuff. It's, um, it's pretty cool, but that's the plan for the chassis. I'm gonna put rust encapsulator on it on the outside with, with a brush, then put CIO chassis and one over the top of that, and then put this uh, cavity paint on the inside and that I think will protect the chassis really well. The reality is this car, when it's done, will always be garaged anyway, so it's not going to be sat outside. So I think, I don't think it's necessary to strip the whole thing down and then galvanise it. Um, although that would be cool as well, and then you could use butter oil on top of that for um, for literally future-proofing it. But this stuff is uh, on its own will be awesome. So, uh, and I've got some other stuff which I'll talk about when we come to, to using it. Uh, the plan is though, now, I've got a wire brush on the grinder and I'm literally just going to wire brush up this back stuff. I'll probably just go to about here to that cross member there and take care of this area uh, and just fire some paint on. So I um, just want to get some of this loose stuff off first. brushed with the, the cup on the grinder, um, sort of the surface rust if you like on the chassis um, and it's, it's brought up a ton of the original Land Rover green paint which illustrates how not rusty this chassis is um, and all I've been while brushing off the most part is just dust and stuff so let's see all the, the original green. <laughs> So we've just literally just went to open the paint and uh, <laughs> I, I just, <laughs> I literally put the screwdriver in like this and turned it and the whole thing just exploded and just popped off. I'm covered in paint. Oh, my new t-shirt. 
You got paint on you. Yeah, just the arm. You've got it on. Oh, you got it in your hair. <laughs> oh god! Oh, it's all on the underside of my hat. Look at that. Oh. That didn't go well, did it? <laughs> using some of this ca cavity paint from Buzzwell, which is what it says it's for cavities. Um, so it comes with this special nozzle with a long straw, like that, and, um, and basically at the end, it just sprays outwards in all directions, uh, which means that you stick this down the hole and uh, basically paint the inside of the chassis. So I've done, I've done this section already. Um, I'm just gonna do some bits over here and then move over there, but you can see, on the floor down there, I've got a bit of drippage, um, and that's where I've gone in this top hole, been painting in here, and it's found a, a gap at the bottom, which I've just found uh, myself, that I didn't know was there, and it's run out, um, which is a good sign that it's got everywhere in the cavity, and that'll protect it from the inside out, um, which is really important. So I'm just gonna crack on doing a, a few more bits and, and uh, hopefully get a good coverage. some of the paints that we're using and, and the sort of the layering system that we've used uh, on the chassis to get it hopefully lasting many many years to come. The, the general chassis condition was really really good anyway so we've landed lucky uh, in that respect obviously you know we've done the welding that we needed to do to repair it um, so now it's protecting it. So we've done um, Externally, we've layered the paint in three stages or using three different products, all from Buzzwell, um, and we'll stick the link uh, to Buzzwell's website uh, in the comments below or in the description below. So the first hit, which you'll have seen, is with this rust encapsulator. Now, we have used a little bit in the aerosol because it's just handy getting into certain places, but for the large portion, we used it came in a tin like this and we brush painted it on which you'll see. After that we use CIO which is chassis in one. That goes over the rust encapsulator which needs a black in colour um, and that just doubles up the protection. We brushed it on for the most part but we did also have a couple of uh, aerosol cans that we, that we sprayed on as well. So that's the two layers on the external side. Then we topped it with wall which is uh, wheel arch re refinement um, and this is a kind of wax not really like um, sort of your usual underbody waxes it does have uh, rust protection properties and stuff like that but that was the next layer that's the finish layer um, that you'll see on the chassis inside the chassis we use this stuff which is in an aerosol and it comes with those long uh, nozzles that allows you to shove the nozzle in a hole in the chassis and then just fire this stuff in. Um, it's super thin, which means it, it, it coats all of the inside of the chassis and then soaks in really well. So we've, we've put quite a lot of that on the inside. Um, obviously the chassis never will have had any protection whatsoever on the inside and only ever have been painted externally. So that's a big one for us because um, we don't want it rotting from the inside out. Um, and that's pretty much it for the chassis. We've also used some bespoke um, paint from, from Buzzwell, which is a DTM, which is direct to metal. 
um, and they, they did that in a, in a dark shade of green, sort of the, the original Land Rover green. Um, and then we've also got some in the light Land Rover, in the light green that matches our patina. Uh, and we've been using it around the bulkhead and, and some of the panels and stuff like that to, um, to allow us to, to force that patina and make it look right. So they're the products that we're using. Just wanted to show you them. We're going to finish this lot off. So let's keep going. in an earlier video that we wanted to keep it looking um, kind of original we didn't want to give it a really nice uh, paint job or anything we wanted to keep its charm so at the moment um, wire brushing and a bit of um, scotch bright to try and get some of the loose the loose paint off um, and then doesn't there doesn't really seem any rusty patches as such it's just sort of surface rust which is quite good so we'll get off the flaky bits and then we will give it a uh, spray over with some clear coat from Gusweld. Alright so one of the things that I wanted to show you that we're doing on the bodywork which is paint related but it's not really um, like taking the chassis and stuff like that what it is doing is maintaining the, the patina that we've got that we really like and we want to keep um, so all we've done on the bodywork uh, like on this swing for example is we've just lightly sanded it and got the, the loose stuff off um, so it's not flaking and stuff like that but we didn't want to sand it down so we took off what's there um, so in places you can see here it's down to the bare aluminium we've got some red stuff that was there historically we've got this sort of pea green and then in other places there's the original sort of darker Land Rover green. Uh, and what we're using is this Buzzweld um, Zero Prep, which is like a clear coat um, essentially, but it's got rust protection properties as well. It's not just a lacquer. Um, and that's that's just going to protect this, this paint and, it, and, and keep it as it is. It's going to protect the aluminium as well, stop that from carrying on corroding. Um, but when we were doing this and giving it the light sand up, um, we, we find this text here on the wing um, which reads uh, Barabba um, and, and uh, so I stuck that in Google and, and we had a quick Google to see what that was um, and obviously this car's come from Australia which we knew and Barabba is a town in New South Wales um, so obviously this car has been uh, on station uh, at a station sorry um, in New South Wales, which I thought was pretty cool. So we've kept that and we've uh, we've put this zero prep over it and we're gonna keep that and I think maybe that should be the name of the car as well. There it is. One painted chassis, hopefully this will last Another 65 years, um, really pleased with how it's turned, on, turned out. Just gonna finish off a little bit on the bulkhead, get that patina looking right, uh, and we're all set. So, catch us in the next video where we'll be packaging up those batteries uh, and getting them mounted in the chassis um, so that we can start moving forward. So, click the little subscribe button, which is down here somewhere. Uh, and a little bell so you'll get notifications of when our next video comes out. Thanks for watching.